We've seen some ugly races and some ugly ads this political season, but this may top them all. The two candidates are comparing each other to a convicted felon, and that's not even the ugliest part. News 13's Alex Goldsmith gives you a look at an ad war that gives new meaning to the term below the belt. We do not need another scandal on the Public Regulation Commission. We don't need another Jerome Block. The message is the same, but make no mistake, Republican Chris Oxrider and Democrat Karen Montoya are not on the same side. The two are running to see which political party will have a 3-2 edge on the scandal-plagued Public Regulation Commission, the former home of Jerome Block Jr., who resigned in disgrace a year ago after he was convicted of stealing on the job. Now Montoya and Oxrider are trying to make the case the other is the next Jerome Block Jr. A couple of weeks ago, Oxrider threw a punch at Montoya with this ad. An FBI investigation is Karen Montoya's latest controversy to be reported in the Albuquerque Journal, in addition to her questionable firings and lawsuits. We can do better. But yesterday, the current Bernalillo County assessor hit back much harder. 47 years old, never married, a known gambler. Is that why he doesn't own any property? His home owned by his mother, touted as one of Albuquerque's hot singles. Was gambling the real reason he left a nonprofit after discrepancies were discovered? That last part appears to refer to the St. Martin's Hospitality Center. Oxrider was on the board of that downtown homeless shelter for six years. Oxrider's campaign did not respond to multiple requests for an interview, but did release a statement from St. Martin's denying Oxrider had any control over the shelter's finances and saying he left on good terms. So how does Montoya's camp respond to all of this? Well, we called her, reached her, and she agreed to do an interview. But then a campaign staffer pulled the plug, saying she was simply too busy. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. As Alex mentioned, whoever wins this $90,000 a year job on the PRC will swing the balance for his or her party. Of course, the PRC is the powerful agency that regulates utilities and insurance companies and approves their rate hikes.